Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about a 2-3 growing drug coming out of Japan that has been approved for human testing. Before we start the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers. Thank you. The world's first human trial of a drug that can regenerate teeth will begin in a few months, less than a year on from news of its success in animals. This paves the way for the medicine to be commercially available as early as 2030. So basically in the near future, you'll be able to wake up in the morning and take your teeth pills. Teeth are not bones, although they are made of some of the same stuff and are the hardest material in the human body, thanks to its protective layer of enamel. They lack the crucial ability to heal and regrow themselves. They're trying to turn us into sharks or beavers, being able to regrow our teeth. Reminds me of that one episode of Angry Beaver where their teeth just wouldn't stop growing. So dangerous. Can I touch them? The trial will take place at Kyoto University Hospital from September to August 2025. It will treat 30 males aged 30 to 64 who are missing at least one molar. The intravenous treatment will be tested for its efficacy on human dentition after it successfully grew new teeth in ferret and mouse models with no significant side effects. The medicine literally regrows teeth and was developed by a team of Japanese researchers. The research has been led by Katsu Takahashi, head of dentistry and oral surgery at Kitano Hospital. The intravenous drug deactivates the uterine sensitization associated with gene one USAG1 protein that suppresses tooth growth. I'll show you a picture of that later. Blocking USAG1 from interacting with other proteins triggers bone growth, and voila, you got yourself some brand new chompers. BMP and WNT are involved in much more than tooth development. They modulate the growth of multiple organs and tissues well before the human body is even the size of a raisin. Consequently, drugs that directly affect their act activity are commonly avoided since side effects could affect their entire body. I'm not going to pretend to know what that means. Just know big brain science man is using proteins to help regrow your teeth. I also think about the negatives. What if those teeth never stop growing and now you have to shave them down constantly like a nail? Dr. Dalen, it, it appears people are using nail files to file down their teeth. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, these are meant for these, not for your teeth. Using a teeth grinder or having to go to a teeth grinder specialist, just the next step in trying to make money off of people? Human trials start in September, but the drug has been highly successful when treating ferrets and mice and did its job with no serious side effects. Of course, the usual caveat applies. Humans are not mice or ferrets, though researchers seem confident that it will work on homo sapiens, humans. This is due to a 97% similarity in how the USG1 protein works when comparing humans to other species. My question is, why does the body stop growing teeth and make them permanent? Why can't we be like reptiles and grow back body parts? We already shed our skin and shed other things like our hair. What made the human body say, you know what? These parts of the body need to stop growing. We knew that suppressing USAG1 benefits tooth growth. What we did not know was whether it would be enough. Kyoto University's Katsu Takahashi, a co-author of the study, ferrets are diphoyodent animals with similar dental patterns to humans. The USAG1 protein has a high amino acid homology of 97% between different animal species, including humans, mice, and beagles, the researchers noted. However, there's no word on a beagle trial just yet. Add that to the list of animals I did not know had a close connection to humans, ferrets, and beagles? Ay ay ay. September's clinical trial will include adults who are missing at least one molar, but there's a secondary trial coming aimed at children aged two to seven. The kids in the second trial will all be missing at least four teeth due to congenital tooth deficiency, which is estimated to affect 1% of people. The team is recruiting for this phase two trial now. Finally, a third trial will focus on older adults who are missing one to five permanent teeth due to environmental factors. Imagine one of the kids to get a placebo drug and you want your teeth to grow and they just never do. You would never even know. Just something to think about. You don't know. You know why you don't know? Because you don't think. That's why. Researchers are then looking at expanding the trial to those with partial endentulism or people missing one to five permanent teeth due to environmental factors. The incidence of this varies from country to country, but it's estimated around 5% of Americans are missing teeth with a much higher incidence among older adults. We want to do something to help those who are suffering from tooth loss or absence, said lead researcher Katsu Takahashi, head of dentistry and oral surgery at Kitano Hospital. 
While there has been no treatment to date providing a permanent cure, we feel that people's expectations for tooth growth are high. Molecular biologist and dentist Takahashi has been working on tooth regeneration since 2005 and hopes this treatment won't just be for congenital dental conditions, but for anyone who has lost teeth at any age. If successful, this therapy could be available to patients with any permanently missing teeth within six years. Takahashi and his fellow researchers are so optimistic about this drug that they predict the medicine will be available for everyday con consumers by 2030. The one thing I want to mention is Lobbyists for dentists are not going to want to allow this. This would most likely be used in the most extreme and rare circumstances. No way dentists are going to want to give up making all that money for a quick solution. What's the saying? There's more money in treatment than prevention. Squeeze every dollar out of every patient. That's how our medical system works, at least in America. While this is the first drug that can fully regrow missing teeth, the science behind it builds on tops of years of related research. Sakahashi, after all, has been working on this since 2005. Recent advancements in the field include regenerative tooth fillings to repair diseased teeth and stem cell technology to regrow the dental tissue of children. Before I move on to the video, I want to read a summary from a scientific paper to give you a better understanding of the protein being used to help regrow teeth. Okay, so first, these are the protein models here for what they're using to help regrow teeth. With the help of molecular dynamic simulation, free binding, energy calculations, and structurally based virtual screening, this study aims to create a natural anti-USAG1 antibody molecule for local tooth development, arrest, and recovery. Previous international research was conducted in Japan based on the anti-USAG1 therapy for increased BMP signaling and tooth regeneration, using targeted molecular therapy to regulate tooth loss, the development of tooth regenerative medicine techniques, and due to USAG1 abrogation, rudimentary incisors persist and erupt as extra teeth. The study aims to provide natural lead molecule as a therapeutic drug for teeth regeneration. So that's just a scientific way of them saying they're trying to create this new drug and targeted therapy to help regrow teeth. The last thing I want to show you is part of Takahashi's presentation about his regrowing teeth drug. I'm going to read the YouTube subtitles to make it easier. I don't know Japanese either, so this is what we have to deal with. Interesting about amino acids is that they're almost the same in mice and humans, and we're very lucky that we usually hear mice switch in other animals or later on human switch. Although it's not possible to observe the functions of other animals, we are fortunate that indigo activity has already been confirmed in humans and mice. That's what I think. This is the first mouse in the world that an article that says that it actually makes only one molecule about 10 to 20. Well, if you target something like that and knock it out, the number of teeth increases as shown here. If the growth of the eyes is stopped, mice are actually animals that do not have milk teeth. You can do this up to the middle of the entrance exam. All right, I, I feel like the YouTube subtitles are, are butchering his Japanese language here what he's saying in his presentation is what he's knocking out in the mice to help regrow those teeth in the mice specifically if you made it this far into the video remember to like the video subscribe to the channel comment your thoughts below what do you think about this new teeth growing drug would you use it if it became available or would you wait it out also if you enjoyed this video check this other video out about a new trend that's taking over instagram comments have a great day see you later peace